Hello and welcome to my bedroom. It is significantly more comfortable and cosy than the living room floor where I filmed my last video. I just finished filming. It took me an hour to film this video. Uh, guess which idiot forgot to close their bedside drawer? <laughs> this idiot. Woo! Go me. <laughs> Professional. As promised, I'm just going to go over uh, why I stopped making videos for a few years and what's been going on with me in that time. Um, just because it doesn't feel right to dive straight into making new content without at least tying off the loose ends from the previous chapter of this channel. Also, I am a bit under the weather, so if I'm a bit snuffly and hoarse, uh, please excuse me. So, previously this channel was very much focused on um, tattoos and piercings and that kind of thing. And I did enjoy making videos about those sorts of topics for a while, but there came a point where I wanted to branch out and try different things, but the only videos of mine that really did well were the ones about piercings and tattoos. I definitely developed a mentality of I can only make videos about this one niche topic um, because those are the only ones that people want to see, those are the only ones that are going to do well, so I have to kind of force myself into this one little box. And while there are absolutely channels that love having a specific niche and that works really well for them, um, as someone with very diverse and eclectic interests, um, you know, confining myself to one thing is way too restrictive. With that mentality of I can only make videos about this one particular thing, even if I don't really want to anymore, um, you know, making videos just started to feel like more of a chore. So I wasn't enjoying making videos about piercings and tattoos anymore, and I had convinced myself that people were only interested in videos about piercings and tattoos, and therefore branching out into anything else wasn't an option. Um, and so I was like, all right, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just peace out and <laughs> disappear. Um, which was not the right way to go about things. I, I know I did receive some comments now and then of people being like, hey, are you ever coming back and making more videos? Those questions went unanswered because um, I wasn't sure how to respond. So I definitely could have handled that significantly better. I should have been more forthcoming and honest about whether or not I intended to come back. Um, so I am sorry to leave you hanging like that. So yeah, that's the story there. And again, I'm sorry for ghosting you for three years. <laughs> that's a dick move. Next, I want to again tie off loose ends regarding personal life updates. Um, I used to share snippets of my personal life on here. I don't really have much to share with you nowadays. There's not a lot going on. Uh, it's essentially, I go to work, I come home, I go to work, I come home. <laughs> ah, adulthood. We're gonna get the life update stuff out of the way so that in future videos we can just move on to topics that are far more interesting than my personal life. All right, starting off with, I now have two degrees, so that's kind of cool. Am I in a significant amount of debt due to these degrees? Yes. Um, do I use these degrees? No. <laughs> Technically, I have started three degrees, but only finished two. So initially I went to university to study science. I was going to do a Bachelor of Science specialising in animal behaviour. Quite a mouthful. I dropped out after the first year of that one because I failed a couple of my end of year exams. Uh, I was going through a rough time in my personal life and so naturally not in the right headspace for exams. I could have retaken the classes next semester but I just kind of lost motivation to go back. So instead I was like, you know what, I'm good at drawing. Let's go to art school. <laughs> A quick word of caution from personal experience, if you are analytically minded and you roll your eyes at that artsy fartsy wanky talk that they love so much at art school, um, <laughs> you might not be favoured in that environment. But anyway, I got through it, completed that degree, uh, so that was my first one, Bachelor of Contemporary Art. My second one was a postgraduate diploma in communication, so things like PR and stuff like that. Moving on to the juicy topic of love life. Yeah, actually it's it's not very juicy at the moment. It looks more like a raisin. Sorry to <laughs> sorry to disappoint you. I will very quickly mention just in case any of you remember Ryan. Um I think he was only ever in one of my videos, but we broke up in March last year. Yes, 2021. Um there's no tea or drama or anything. We just weren't going to work long term. Wanted different things from the from the future, so um parting ways was just the right thing to do. He's good, I'm good, we still get along, everything's fine. I have been living on my own ever since, and I gotta say, 
I kind of love it. I enjoy my solitude and I have no problem just being in my own company. The financial side of living alone, not so fun. But everything comes with a price, so what you're gonna do? Getting back on topic, uh, the only thing that's happened relationship or romance wise since then, um, I was in a very brief like two month relationship at the end of last year, August to October. Uh, didn't last long, we absolutely were not a good fit, not gonna get into it, but the good thing that came out of that was I was introduced to a sport, finally a sport that I did not suck at. For context and to put into perspective how truly terrible I am at sports. All right, I want us to collectively think back to middle school PE class where the PE teacher would choose like two team captains and they would each take turns selecting classmates to join their team, right? Uh, <laughs> I was consistently one of the last people, if not the last one left, because no one wanted me on their team. <laughs> That's how bad I was. This particular sport, man, oof. It is sexy, it is badass, it's so much fun. Axe throwing. Oof! Your girl can throw an axe. If you've never tried axe throwing, oh my god, highly recommend. Definitely look up to see if there's a place in your city that does it. I joined their casual league for a season, uh, it was a lot of fun. I haven't been back for quite a while because it is kind of expensive and that doesn't currently fit into my budget, but I would very much like to pick that up again sometime. This next thing probably means nothing to most of you, but to me, it was a big deal because for the first time in eight years, I grew out my hair. Who is she? I don't know. I don't think I've ever had long hair on this channel. Um, I'll see if I can dig up some photos on my phone just as evidence that it happened. It got pretty long, at least by my standards, and then I remembered, oh yeah, I actually don't enjoy having long hair, so I shaved it off. Easily the biggest and most consequential thing that's happened in the last 12 months. Uh, in October of last year, I joined the, uh, the late diagnosis ADHD crew, so that's a thing. I figured it out for myself first, and then I got it confirmed and formally diagnosed by a psychiatrist, and absolutely life-changing. People who are different and not just, you know, everyone's unique, kind of different, but the different as in we mentally function differently to the majority of the population. You grow up kind of knowing that you're different, but not understanding why. And that can come with a lot of, you know, pressure to try to change yourself to fit in and a lot of stress because you can't uh, keep on top of things the way that other people can. And so much shame, so much shame. Um, because you just don't understand. You just don't understand why things that are so easy for everyone else are absolute mountainous challenges for you. Growing up experiencing situations like that constantly, it absolutely wrecks you. You know, it, it breeds so much harsh self-blame and self-criticism and it's just straight up impossible to be a mentally healthy person when you feel like there's something wrong with you. But I have since learned and come to understand that I'm not broken, you know, there's nothing wrong with the way that my brain works, it's just different. And my brain works in a way that isn't compatible with the structures and systems that our society has in place. I am very much still learning how to restructure my life and my processes in a way that can be, um, you know, functional and relatively productive, even with the, uh, the challenges that ADHD creates. But I am so much more compassionate towards myself and more patient with myself and just understanding and acknowledging that you know this particular task is difficult for me not because I'm not trying hard enough or not because I'm not good enough it's just because my brain is kind of working against me in this moment and the the strengths and weaknesses of my brain aren't suitable to this situation so yes that has majorly changed my life and uh, for the better definitely for the better Nowadays, I am pursuing copywriting, uh, freelance copywriting, so I'm partway through a, a course for that one. I have my trip overseas coming up in a few months, six weeks in Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Germany, and I'm oh, so excited. Speaking of which, this trip is more than just travel for the sake of travel. Once I get my copywriting career up and running and uh, increase my income a bit, I intend to save up to move overseas. The two countries at the top of my shortlist in terms of countries that I would permanently relocate to are Norway and Sweden. Oh boy, my voice is starting to give out on me. Okay, need to wrap this up soon. Um, the Norway and Sweden leg of my upcoming trip is essentially dipping a toe in the water, you know, try before you buy, see how it feels, and maybe also help me figure out 
<clears throat> if I prefer one over the other before making any concrete decisions um, in terms of moving overseas. Okay, that was not as brief as I hoped it would be. I do have a tendency to ramble, but I think that probably covers everything worth mentioning. If you do have any questions, if there's something that slipped in my mind that I didn't address in this video, um, just let me know down below and I will get back to you. I'm thinking about trying a couple of reaction videos. They look fun. And as someone who overthinks and overanalyzes things, maybe I could turn that tendency into interesting commentary. I don't know, worth a shot. <laughs> so if there's anything in particular that you would like me to watch and react to and provide commentary on, let me know. Um, as I said, I have very diverse and eclectic interests, so um, feel free to suggest a vast array of, uh, of topics. If anyone stuck around to the end of this, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope you are well and that you're doing good and I will see you again soon. Bye. Why can't I just say bye like a normal person? Bye. <laughs> bye. Either way.